What's going on guys? This is BC Draven and I know what you're thinking. Man, not another Minecraft video. I don't want to see Minecraft. Yeah, I'm not really going to do a series, but I thought it might be interesting to bring you guys in and show you my last build that I actually did on the 360 before I uploaded it to um to the Xbox One. Now I tried to play this on the 360 because the texture pack that I got on is the Halloween texture pack and I see a creeper right over there just waiting to get at me. But the um, 360 for some reason whenever I loaded it up it all of a sudden reverted my save back to the one that was in the cloud which was an older save. And I had to load up the uh, Xbox One version which I've got the uh, Halloween texture pack. It's the trial. I haven't actually bought it. And the reason I haven't bought it is because it does this really yellow, ugly lighting that I don't like. If it didn't have that ugly bloom lighting that was yellow, I would probably rebuy it. Because I did enjoy doing the uh, one that was on the 360. But that one was free. And I actually got it during one of the Halloween updates. And they have yet to do that on the Xbox One. But I figured I'd bring you guys in just a little something different. Just something to... You know, have a different type video going on, but this is our let our my last build that was in the 360 version. Right here, we're starting out at the boat gondola, and I have a little boat dock here that you can dock at. There's a little boat dock here, and you can actually connect to way over there, which you can't see from this angle. But as we come back up over here, and I don't know why it has that ugly costume. I figured I'd show that off too, but that is like a really ugly costume, and it's for the diamond armor. So I've got all the diamond armor, and I got a bunch of crap in my inventory. I don't even remember the last time that I actually loaded this up and played. It's been like a really, really long time, but either way, what we got over here is a little bridge that goes across to our main little land and everything, and I'm trying to remember how to run. Here we go, we got run going on. There's one of our little kitties, Ash. He supposedly keeps creepers away from this area. That's his intention, at least. But we've got this nice little bridge. I come up here and I go fishing off the dock and everything, get fish, and it was a nice little thing that I put up. And you got you got the little um, sunroof and everything, so we get sunlight coming in and everything. And then you come over here, and this was originally, it's messed up now with some of the updates, because I did originally have just cows in there I think I had cows there, that was supposed to be pigs, and this one was supposed to be sheep. And I had different colored sheep and everything, but as you can see, everybody's mixing and mingling and kind of doing their own thing, so I mean, that's, that's what it is. And then over here, we've got another little bridge section, but this actually connects to that up there. That's actually an elevator that comes down with the um, minecart, and it goes all the way over here. Let me go to this next bridge. But it goes all the way over to here. And drops down into our little temple area. Which, there's one of our other cats. That's actually my son's cat. He, for some reason, it loaded up, and there was a cat following my son whenever he was playing and he's only he was only two or he, he was three at the time but the cat was following my son around i don't even know where it come from i must have uh tamed it up over there in the jungle somewhere and forgot about it and it followed him back so i named him draven's kitty and then i don't think that one actually has a name but he's a little ghost cat right now but it goes down into this area and we'll take a look down and down there later on but you can see kind of right there, the ugly yellow lighting that happens, especially in darker areas. But I've upped the gamma a little bit to try to compensate, so it's a little bit broader. I'll try to fix it in post-editing and everything. But this is a view of the other side of the bridge. But if you come up this way, right here, that white building. Let's get in there. But I did used to like enjoy playing Minecraft a lot. But in this building right here, we've got our, see that ugly yellow? I just hate that yellow right there. But in here, we've got a bit of our gardening going on. And I'll take you over there to that section. I was about to go out there. But if you press the button right here, it pops all your pumpkins up. Same way with the melons, if I can press the button. And you get all your pumpkins and melons and all that good stuff right as you're walking down through here. 
And then as you come in here, yeah, I hate the ugly yellow lot. And you've got the other farm, which has actually got my wheat, the carrots, the potatoes, and all that good stuff. So you've got Draven's Temple Farm. Because originally in the original uh, texture pack, all this was pretty much white. And you had those areas of stone that I got up there was like a dark area. And it had a good contrast. It was like white dark, you know. But in this with that yellow... I mean, you just pretty much have to imagine what I'm talking about because I wish that my save hadn't got corrupted like it did and it just got my old save. But we've got all the melons and everything over here. This right here is for replanting because as you see right there, that little half slab right there actually collects a lot of the seeds and all that stuff and it'll funnel them over to here and then we can disperse them past that. And then we've got our pumpkins and all that that we can put. There's our tools and this is... The auto harvest switch, we'll get to that in a second. And then we've got all our wheat and seeds and carrots and potatoes. And this is the other box that does this half. Because it pretty much does those two and that box over there does those two. But if we come back here and we hit the switch, you'll see what happens. Pretty much self-explanatory. I don't think that I need to tell you what's going on. It's pushing all the stuff down to the drop box. And then the water will turn off, and then we can go replant everything. I never did figure out how to do an auto planter. I don't think that you can do an auto planter, but that would have been awesome. But it probably involves like some switches and stuff that I never really messed with. But as you see, the water turns off, and you can come up here, and you can replant everything. And that's just a simple gate up here that lets the water through. That's all it does up here. And... We'll go back outside. This over here was actually kind of cool looking too. Because after I built it, I built it into the side of the mountain. I was like, I want to see everything out this way, you know. So I kind of uh, made a little lookout area. And you can see the animals down there and everything else. I wish the glass didn't have that, you know, little bars on it and everything so you could actually see. But if we come out here... And go over to the left. This over here is our grotto area, which it's got a dome on top and all around it. I play, I planted um, sugar cane, so I could just come down through here and just do like that right there, grab all the sugar cane that I wanted. And if you go in here, we have one of our dogs up in here, which you can see the top. It's got a nice uh, skylight going on. You can pretty much see everything. And this is the other boat dock that I was talking about. You couldn't see across the way. But it connects like... I mean, you can, you know, use your boat to get all the way over to there. And do we have a name for this dog? Bones. Yeah, that's our dog. He's pretty much been out here ever since I first tamed him. But this whole area... Um... I didn't think I had any windows there. But this whole area is basically a gigantic circle, and you can just go straight around here, collect all the sugar cane that you want. Now, where do I want to take you next? I think what we want to do is go over this way, and I'll show you the back area, because we'll do all the inside here in a second. But you got a little broken path that leads up to here. And this is going to lead into our little flower garden with some benches and everything so you can sit here and you know check out everything relax and then you've got a little bridge right here and you got a couple of waterfalls going on which i probably should have made the waterfalls bigger but it works for what it is but it's a little patio area that you can come out you know and what did i call it that is draven's grotto and you can see the other half of the building, which we'll get all that, get to all that here shortly. And it all connects back around to here, so you can go back around to the front. But it, it was a nice little addition, you know, a little, a little rest area, kind of like a little park right in the middle of everything. And I uh, need to eat because I can't run anymore. And then we come over here. Obviously, you could probably tell what that is. That was originally my monster tower. And all the drops and everything, as you can see. I'll take you up there and let you see it a little bit further. But over here is where all the drops happen. The mob grinder item collection, which we didn't... We didn't um, keep it running for too long. Actually, it 
think it fills up down there. And then as the stuff drops, it just collects down here. And one of the updates actually broke it, and I never did fix it because I was actually nearing the end of whenever I was going to play it. But I can, I mean, I can easily fix it now. But basically what happened was the uh, water that pushes them out ended up getting messed up and there's actually water in there. It's not sucking it back into the dispensers like it should. So, I mean, it's an easy fix, but the question is, do I want to fix it, you know? But we'll take you back over here. And do I have any dirt on me? That would be great. I do. I'll kind of give you a bird's eye view of the house before we actually go up into the house. I usually do this right here to kind of check things out, but we'll go up about, I don't know, about a good 12. Or more. And that's what the actual house looks like with the moon coming in behind it, which is actually a pretty good view. And then you've got the, the mob grinder over there, and then over here is our half wheel that, you know, is our boat dock and uh, the um, other grotto, you know, and then we've got our boat dock over there that connects to it. There's our bridge and there's the uh, entrance to the temple and everything. And there's our, our little animal farm that's all mixed and mingled together. And you can see the um, farm right there with the windows and everything. It actually worked out pretty well, but we'll take you up in here into the house and let you check it out. But this is going to be a short video. I mean, all I'm doing is just showing you a little base tour, you know, nothing major. I mean, if you want to see me do Minecraft, I do have it on Xbox One. I mean, I do have it on PC also. And I have it on 360 and I have it on uh, PS3. It was one of those games that I bought like a lot. But you can see the outside here and this is what that looks like. And you go in here. And we have a little staircase going up both ways. We've got a little water fountain going on right here. And you can actually refill your buckets right there. Do I have a bucket on me? I do. I don't want to do it like that, though. Which, uh, you can just dump your bucket. You can refill it. i got an infinite water supply under there. And in here, we've got a little seating area right there. Let me put my torch back on because that's shorter than the dirt. Okay, we've got a little seating area right here on both sides. And I keep wanting to press the button to run because of arc. <laughs> and then we've got a little stereo system over here if you want to get down and boogie on the carpet or something, you know. It's like a little, uh, uh, not really a diner, but I guess it could be a diner. But yeah, uh, you got a little radio on both sides. You got some tables to sit at and eat and everything. This is the kitchen. We've got a few plants around. I think I was putting those, I mean, I put them up for de decoration, but I think I put them up mostly for an achievement. And then we've got all our stoves and everything, and there was actually something in there. Iron. Uh, what was that? Green cactus. I must have been dying something. And then over here, we've got our auto furnace, and you put your raw stuff in. No, that's where you put your fuel. You put your raw stuff in there, like your uh, cobblestone and everything, and out pops your finished material, and this is where you collect it. But you put your stuff in there, and I'm not sure... There's the buckets. Okay, so you just put your buckets of lava in there, put whatever you want in there, sand, you know, cobblestone, whatever you can burn, and you get your results out here, which I've got all my buckets back. I got a bunch of glass. Obviously, I was doing glass. I have a... A big habit of putting glass everywhere because I like to see out. I mean, it's it's interesting to do that. And then here we've got our storage room. And I was going to make this automated, but I just, I don't think I did. I think I just left it as is. But you've got like all your precious material over here and then all your building blocks and everything all through here. And then your redstone and everything. And this actually is what you saw from the outside you know, that was over here at that bridge that leads back over to the temple entrance. This is where it leads up to, and it hits this cactus right here, and it takes the um, minecart and puts it back over here. 
and you can actually drop down here and it won't kill you. You probably can see the water right there. And it's the same over there at the temple. But yeah, this is our little storage area. I thought it was pretty cool. I wished it didn't have that ugly yellow lighting, but there's nothing I can do about that. And if we come upstairs, we've got a view out there. And in here is one of our other cats. I think this is Mist. And we've got the little bedroom on this side with a couple of little trees and bushes and stuff. This is what the bed looks like. And I think I'm going to leave it at night right now. I think I have like all, yeah, all the records and just stuff that I found in dungeons all through here. And this, like saddles and stuff like that. And on the other side is basically a mirror image symmetry for the wind, you know. But right here, if you look at this, I made kind of a little see-through thing. And as I kind of peer around here, you'll see how it kind of, you know, takes shape like that. I thought that was kind of interesting because you got a, you know, you got a little gap that you can see through. And then it kind of transforms into that gap and then it all meets back into a little hallway. But yeah, this over here is just a mirror image of what's on the other side. And I got more junk and crap over here. And we can show you that out there. That's actually the top of the front door. But if we come over here and go out to our bridge, which you can see from the, from the little garden area down there, this is our bridge that leads over to our laboratory, which is called the laboratory. And then I'll go ahead and show you this before we go into the laboratory. This is our, our uh, nether portal. I got it kind of built up temple lock, you know, and you can see all the baddies over there because I didn't light up, but just like right around the area that I'm going to be working in. And there's actually a village over there and you can kind of see it off into the light right there. And then right here was our tree farm, which I've got, I had to use a bunch of jungles. So that's the reason I've got extra jungle trees, but you can see like right down here, you know, you put your seedling on there and it grows up to the tree and then you just come around and chop them all up and that's pretty much what i did i had the oaks on the outside i think that's spruce and uh what is that birch <laughs> yeah it's been a while since i played so i can't even remember what the items are called but yeah there's our tower from over there you can see the bridge a little bit better from here and this right here was our little jungle hut to where what did i call it Treehouse treasure. That this is where you actually come in. You can put all your um, cocoa seeds because you got I got cocoa seeds all around through here. Cocoa beans, and then this in here is where you put all your wood, which that one's empty. I use a lot of wood in my builds too, and then you put all these saplings up here, and you can get all your stuff back. But that's what the roof is, and it mirror images down here. And we can, it's starting to be sunlight again, but we can go up in here. No, <laughs> I know I can get up over here. Because I actually put these vines up just for the purpose of this. But you can go up in here, get on top of the walkway and you're on the roof of the house now and i'll show you what the outside of this looks like I, without the windows blocking it but this is what the outside of this looks like and you can have a little view and everything and this is a little pyramid feature that's right over the doorway which looks really cool from like way over there and then it goes around to the towers which the towers I don't know if you can see it. There's towers on each one of these sides. And it looks like I'm missing a block right there. But there's actually towers on each one of the sides. And they go around to actually connect all the way. As you can see with all the stones that I have. And I have a gap right there too. Huh. I didn't even know that. Well that's something that... I'm probably not going to remember to fix, but... Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even realize that was an issue until I actually climbed up there and looked, which happens in Minecraft. I mean, you don't know you have problems until you look at the problems. But in here in the laboratory, come up these stairs. We got our other cat, uh, Pika. 
and you got a full view of everything up here on this side a big bay window in here we have our bookshelves this is our library and on the other side which we've got another little you know cut in feature that i thought was kind of cool here see it's kind of like a little pyramid going on right here in the middle and you can kind of look through everything and has neat little openings but you have another bay window over here on this side and you can see everything i just wish that the brown spots was out of the windows and over here is the mirror image of the other side but we have our uh potion laboratory set up and we have water that we need to put in there there's our enchantment table and more potion setups and here we have all our potions that we actually have made and all our junk that we make it with but to fill that up which I can go ahead and fill it up with that. But to fill that up, I actually put this in here, a little secret hideaway where you can refill your water. And that's just so that you can do potions and things like easier. But I thought that was kind of, you know, nice feature to add in because you, you always going to need water to refill your stuff. So you want an infinite supply of water somewhere. So I just hid it in the floor right there. So as we come back down this way, you probably noticed a little button right here. So what does this button do? Because we got the laboratory up there, so... Hmm, there's a little mysterious button here. So let's press this guy and see what happens. Aha! There's a hidden area down here. And <laughs> this was where I grew my nether ward. I already knew it was there. I mean, I had to act surprised for you guys, though. But we've got our nether wart farm right here, which has all our stuff to, you know, get the soul sand is under there. And we can actually get our nether wart and then replant it, which I don't think I actually picked it up. So we're good on that. I was going to replant it, but it's whatever. I can, I'm not saving this right here because I'm doing the trial version of the Halloween texture pack. But... You can actually climb up this side over here, and I have one over here on this side also where I have vines that's grown all the way down. I did that on purpose so I could actually get up and down a lot quicker. But this right here was actually the top of the mob grinder, which I don't think is working anymore. Let's see. It's turned on. Let me turn it off for about a five count. And we'll turn it back on. So I don't think it's actually working, but anyway, they would drop down here and I did have some half slabs on here so I could, you know, hit them to where I could get experience points and all that and all our item drops would drop down to the bottom that we looked at earlier. But without the half slabs, they'll actually die when they hit that. But we can come around here. There's our wheel right there. We can come around here and I've actually got this to where you can go up in here and look at all the stuff that, um, the redstone and stuff that actually is working it which when i built this this was the way that i had to do this but there is an easier way to do these timers and everything but whenever i did this i mean this is a relay timer that sets how long this stays on but see you can hear the water right now that water's not supposed to be on right now so that's what ended up getting glitched and like i said it's an easy fix if i wanted to fix it but as this times down, you know, you got something in here that's counting the uh, blocks that I have in here. As they get over here, when they hit the end, this will switch and it's supposed to suck the water back up in it. Or actually, I think the way it's supposed to work right now, the water's supposed to be not there. And then it lets the water out, flushes them out, drops them down, and then it sucks the water back in. But right now it's glitched and messed up with one of the updates. So, but this is how all this was done. And that's another little little timer. It'll pop down for a second and it'll, you know, connect to this and it'll start this timer. That leads up to the actual inside where it's supposed to have the dispensers to do the water and everything. But this whole area has the balcony all around it that you can see. And this little cut in and everything is just for aesthetics, basically. I mean, it doesn't serve any function. But you can see the top of our laboratory house over there. It's got a little nice little top to it and everything. And I didn't even show you whenever you look up in the top, which I can do that whenever I go back down. Which uh, this all just leads back around. Nothing really too exciting here. 
But as you look at it from the bottom, you know, it looks like a lo nice little house up here. And it's got the balcony and the um, bridge that leads over to it. I thought it looked pretty cool the way it ended up being after I connected it all together. But we'll come back across the bridge. But yeah, from down there, it looks really cool because you got that up there that looks like a a balcony up there. And then you got the bridge leading over to it from here. But we'll go back upstairs. And as you come out here, see on this side, I, I actually tell you that, you know, it's the secret stairs, the mob grinder. And you can close yourself in with that button if you want. But if we click it again, it'll pop the stairs back up. And we'll have a look at the ceiling up here. As you see, that right there is the upper part. I thought about like making a room up there, but it just didn't end up being big enough. It's about a, looks like it's about a four by four or something like that. So it really wasn't big enough, but I mean, you can see the way that the ceiling goes up and connects up and that's another little side. And on the other side, it's the same way, but we'll go ahead and drop back down here. Looks like we're about 20 seconds, uh, 20 minutes in. It may be longer than I thought. We'll come back over here and we'll go down to our temple area, which actually has another grinder. So let's see if I can get this to work. Jump in our mine cart and here we go. I needed to fix those blocks right there because they, act, they actually need to be cut away so you didn't get all those black spots. I got it fixed over here. And we come down to our under area. What's up, zombie? Apparently somebody wanted to say hi. But uh, if you look right there, there's the water. And if you drop down in the middle of that hole, you can actually survive and you'll just drop down straight right here if you wanted to do like a quick launch. But right in here... As you saw, that was where the uh, cart goes out. The cart comes back right there, and you can press it and go back up. But we've got our little uh, hallway to here. But as you can see, I got the lamps and everything. I got a little button feature there. It doesn't do anything. It's just for aesthetics. But we got our lot up there. Got some little benches on the way, you know, down the hallway and everything. And as we come up here, I guess we need to run. This is actually our end portal so I actually figured out that the end portal was right here and the reason that I built all this up was because I would I actually had ended up having my mind near here and I actually calculated up to where the end portal was and there was also let me just get over here before I tell you about it there was also a zombie spawner over here, which I made into a little, you know, uh, zombie grinder. And forgetting the achievements and everything, because I had to redo it on the Xbox One, I actually had all the villagers, because I had to do the villagers and save one of them anyway, so I, I ended up saving a bunch of villagers, and I made them little, little uh, shops right here that they can actually, you know, sit down here, sell their goods and everything. And I just made them a little shop because I had to save them anyway. So I just went ahead and, uh, you know, made them complete. But these right here, are all the stuff that you get from the drops, it comes over here. And as that fills up, it'll fill up over here. Same on this side. It's just like extra stuff. And I have a uh, stone sword up in here, I think. There's all my gear. I was wondering what happened to my gear. So let's drop, um, we don't need the shears. Let's drop that and pick up our stone sword. Because this is actually how we did this whenever we was actually doing this stuff. Did you pick up your little stone sword? Because they should all be one hit or close to it. It may have got messed up in one of the updates because that guy with the armor, I mean, I understand him. But you just do that as they drop down and you sit here and collect your levels and all the stuff that they drop goes into all these chests. So that actually worked out pretty good. I mean, this is actually where I got more levels than I did at my other mob grinder that ended up messing up. But if you come up here, I got more little villagers with their little shops, small little ecosystem going on. And this guy right here was the first one that I saved. And he ended up following me up here, and it was I still had the zombie thing down there that I was trying to 
you know, fix and build. So to make him safe, I actually built him this little hut. So he's the first guy that made it as a shopkeeper up here. And being that I done this to kind of save him, you know, I was like, well, let me do every, everybody else, you know. So I started making little shops for everybody that I was saving. I just saved extra people just to, you know, make a little shop area down here. But as you come over here, hey, slime. <laughs> as you come over here, hopefully there's nothing bad. This is where I actually did most of my mining. Which I'm glad we got this sword on, because I got it on normal. That's usually what I play at, is normal. But this over here is where I actually did most of my mining to get all my stuff to build everything. Now we got our little crafting table, and let me make sure it's safe. If you look down through each one of these rows, I mean, you've probably done this t a thousand times if you played Minecraft. You know, doing the uh, branch mining and everything. But I've done this like all the way down to here. I may have started another row coming this way. But yeah, all of that, that's where I got all my resources from was all of this down here. And then my tree farm, I mean, obviously for the trees and everything. And then going into the nether for quartz, which I did the um, farm, the farm temple. I did that out of quartz, you know, so I had to, I actually had to reload my nether because I ended up running out of quartz and that. So I had to like re, restart the nether on it. But this was where I got all my stuff, basically. And if you come up here to where the end of our little makeshift uh, village is let me go ahead and eat some more i started doing this that, that's the entrance to our little you know makeshift village with our our uh, zombie spawner in there i heard something over here but if you come down this way hopefully it's going to be safe so i do still hear, hear guys all over the place but i linked all this together is that diamond it might be, yeah, I'm not sure. But I cut all this out and measured it out to the coordinates of... I didn't realize this hallway was this long. I, I can't even... I think I got this correct. Pretty sure I do, actually. We're about to see, though anticipation <laughs> here we go we got it connected to the mine shaft and i was gonna actually do the long hallways and all that like i did over there you know for coming down and connect all this up also but i just never did i mean that was pretty much what i left on that was the last thing that i was gonna do was that so let's head back over here down the long long hallway that I actually cut out but I had it I mean I had it connected as you see you know I was ready to go it's just that was a long hallway and that is a lot of work that would I would have had to put in and like I said I just ended up quit quit playing I think it was I don't know it was around the time I got the x1 I could be wrong on that you know but other games basically took priority over it so you know i got kind of burnt out on doing all this after building all of this up you know i got kind of burnt out on minecraft so that's the reason i pretty much stopped playing and i did and i wanted to do other things like the um arc and the subnautica and all that you know as being a long rending series so i mean i do enjoy minecraft and i do play it enjoy playing it a lot i like playing with my sun on it because he actually likes running around but on the ps3 version because that's where he usually does a lot of his gaming like i said he's three so i mean he can't do much but i was actually in creative on that and i made him a super flat world and i was gonna build him a nice big castle that he's probably gonna tear down but i mean i was gonna do it anyway and just have a little area that he could run around in you know but as you see, this leads back up here, and like I said, there's going to be some black flash in here because I didn't optimize the uh, uptake there. And then we'll go... I think that was all that really I could show you. But we'll go back up here. 
and kind of did we looked over everything earlier though didn't we i was gonna go on the roof and like you, you know let you look over everything but i think we already did that so yeah let's uh head back out here And if you look over there in the distance, that's actually where the um, where the mine shaft was. So I had that marked off over there with a big tower, you know, so I could actually find it easy. But yeah, this is uh, what I did last on the 360, guys. So let me go down here and I can give you a full bird's eye view of it. I'll just use these blocks because like I said, I'm not saving. <laughs> Bad yourself. So yeah, we'll go over here and give you kind of a, you know, bird's eye view of all of it. Hopefully. Might need to get a little closer. Something like... Guess I didn't need to go that far away after all. Something like this would be good. Let's just pillar up here. We're looking at 36, so yeah, this is going to be a pretty long episode. I'm not going to cut it into parts or anything. This is just going to be the episode. So, yeah, we'll go up here and kind of let you give, have a nice bird's eye view of everything from the front, at least. Let me go ahead and crouch. And we've got our grotto over there. Over there is actually another village, and you can see some torch areas where I was actually getting enderman eyes and stuff like that. Which we didn't go in the nether, but there's nothing to see in the nether. Like I said, I had to reset it. I was actually building stuff in it, but I ended up having to reset. I don't think there is. I can go up there and look, but yeah, here's a bird's eye view of it. And I guess for the sake of it, we'll go check out the nether. I'll just leave that tower there. Be a tower, homie. Be a tower. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that far away, so I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Hopefully it doesn't crash or anything, because I had it crash one time when it, on this save on the Xbox One. Just because of the way it updates the saves from 360. And we'll go back to our little house. And straight over here to the nether. But I think that whenever I reset the nether, get nether cords, uh, all the stuff I built's gone. But it could still be there. I mean, we'll check it out. Why not? That was actually quick. No, it's actually got some of the stuff still up that I built. What's up, pig man? You look like you look like the chick from the ring for some reason. I don't think that was like that on the other version. Oh crap! There's a gas. Look at that. The portal's all screwed up. That that was one of the things that was messed up with it. But yeah, we did have all this built in. All this, um, all this greenness around. It actually was walls and everything beforehand. Got a magma cube going on. But I'd started building it back up again, but never did get back around to finishing it obviously do that just so I can run I hear a black skeleton yep there was the black skeleton over there got blazes everywhere oh my god but down here is where I actually had a blaze farm which I don't think is working anymore either because blazes are like everywhere in the nether now Yeah, it's still down here. But I did have this as a blaze farm, and I don't think it works anymore. But I had two blaze thingies up there, and I built this room, and you're supposed to... Let's see. They're supposed to come down like that, which that is working correctly right there. And then, you want to come down too? Okay, those guys are coming down. So what are we at it? Forty minutes. Yeah, they're come they're actually working now. But they'll go in there and I'll click this and lock them in at the top. That's 
I think it's working. Look over here. Yeah, it looks like it does have them locked in. They should be locked in like a, you know, a one by two area. And then you click this and that should crush them. Looks like it is. And they should be one hit now. And they are. So that's actually working now since one of the last updates that I played before I actually quit playing it, this didn't work anymore, but it's actually is working now. But the reason it didn't work is because blazes spawn like everywhere and anywhere now. So, I mean, that's the reason it didn't work anymore. And I've actually got a buttload of netherrack in there. Redstone where I was building. I mean, but... I guess we need to open that if we're going to let them drop down. But yeah, you would stand here, kind of right here in the middle, let them drop down on either side. And after a while, you know, after it gets filled up and everything, you would, you can hear them clicking up there. But it's got a little pressure plates. They get pushed off the edge and they all fall down into the one, one little square right there is what ends up happening. And then you just lock them up and you press the button. And it crushes them up, and then they should be one-hit kills. I mean, not sure what I was doing there. I think I was going to make all this prettier stone instead of cobble. I just never got around to it. I was probably going to make it like nether walls. Because I think that's what kind of walls I was doing was that right there. But I could be wrong. I mean, I may have been doing something else. But then you just come over here and hit them and get your levels and blaze rods and all that good stuff. I'm surprised this is actually going like it should. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, I'm probably not going to do a series unless y'all really want me to do a series. Like I said, I haven't played Minecraft in God knows how long now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little base tour. And I hope you guys liked what you saw with the built and everything. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. Because I'm doing other stuff, you know, on the channel. I got ARC. I got Subnautica going on. Still going to finish uh, Dead Rising 3. I do a lot of uh, indie horrors. I like playing a lot of indie games. But if you are first time here, you know, go ahead and hit subscribe. And, you know, stay tuned for more content. And if you guys want to see more, go ahead and tell me in the comments, and we will talk to you guys later. Oh my god, I don't think you're worth it. You go on and go out there. Ah! Bad move. Please do not continue to follow me.